Functions in Python are first class objects, and this means that they effectively share the rights as any other standard variable, such as a list or a string. So in this quick short, I'm gonna show you three things you can do with a function, which makes them first class objects. The first one is simply assigning a function to a variable and using it in that way. So for example, I have this greet function here, we could then define a new variable and assign the name of the function to this variable. This means that this variable now has a reference to this function, meaning that we can then call the function via this variable here. So calling the function in this manner is absolutely fine. We're simply passing the reference to this variable, calling this variable, thus calling this function. First class objects can also be passed into functions as arguments. So we could define a new function and simply pass this one to it. So here I've got a function called call it. This takes a function and a name. So what I can do inside my function is print func, do some parentheses as if I'm going to be calling whatever this is here and simply pass in name. What I can then do is call this function, pass it to the greet function and any arbitrary string. So just like earlier, I'm passing the function and running the code, we see this works absolutely fine. I've passed a function to this function here, and the job of this function is to simply say, call whatever this is. In this case, I've passed in the greet function, and that works just fine. We can also store functions inside of data structures. Just like any other first-class object, you'd expect to be able to store them inside a data structure. So suppose, for example, we had a dictionary, we could store our function inside a dictionary. And here is such a dictionary. We've got the key of greet as a string, and this holds a value of greet, which is a reference back to this function here. So I could go ahead and access this key in the dictionary, which then gives me access to this function. All I've got to do is make sure that I access the key in the correct way. So you use square brackets, pass in greets like this. And after that, I can then pass in some input here. This input will then be fed back to this greet function. Hitting run, we see this works fine. We've therefore passed the string of Alex to the greet function. We've just done it by storing the reference to the function inside a data structure.